1974, Jacques Fresco appeared on Larry King's show. 1974. This is how the interview begins. My guest is an extraordinary Miamian, Dr. Jacques Fresco. Uh, I could go through all the things that Dr. Fresco has done. He's a social engineer, industrial engineer, designer, inventor, uh, consultant, was a consultant for Rotocraft Helicopter, director of scientific research laboratories Los Angeles, designed and copyrighted various items, ranging from drafting instruments to x-ray units, uh, has had works published in the Architectural Record, Popular Mechanics, Saturday Review, uh, and has been a technical and psychological consultant to the motion picture industry member of the Air Force, design development unit at Wright Field, uh, developed the electrostatic anti-icing systems, uh, designed prefabricated aluminum houses. What, what is a senior driver's license? <laughs> what is the occupation? Industrial designer. Jack, you... Uh, Social engineer. Does it bug you that uh, people, when they talk about Jacques Fresco in Miami, say that he's someone who's too far ahead of his time? His thinking is, we're not ready for advanced kind of thinking of well, that I mean, type. There's a bug. I, I imagine every creative person in every field encounters that sort of problem. No, it doesn't. I can't afford it. There's too many things that are important. For the past 85 years, Jacques Fresco has blessed us with his unwavering commitment and uncompromising work to re-engineer a better future. He is the founder of the Venus Project, which integrates science and technology into a comprehensive plan for a new society based on human and environmental concerns. The Venus Project proposes a system in which automation and technology are intelligently integrated into a holistic socio-economic design where the primary function is to maximize the quality of life rather than profits. Jacques Fresco has recently celebrated his 100th birthday and he couldn't join us today, but he is watching us right now. On behalf of all of us, Mr. Fresco, thank you and your partner, Roxanne Meadows, for your vision, your tireless research, extraordinary life achievements, and everlasting legacy. Mr. Fresco, we are beginning to get there. We are beginning to get ready for this advanced kind of thinking. We are getting there, and you have been a critical force for that change. Please, a warm round of applause for Mr. Jacques Fresco. This is Julio, who will pick up the award. I am deeply honored and appreciate this prestigious recognition for my work with city design. These cities are part of a broader picture that I've dedicated my life toward. My aim was to identify the root causes of the problems we face today and propose alternatives for them. I concluded it was the social design itself that create the unnecessary human suffering. When at the same time, we have the technical ability and the resources that can surpass our present conditions. Jacques proposes a new holistic socio-economic design he calls a resource-based economy in which the methods of science and technology are integrated to maximize the quality of life for all people. This project also introduces a set of practical values to give people a better understanding of our relationship to one another and the environment. One fundamental premise is that we work toward having all of the Earth's resources as the common heritage of all the world's people. It requires the intelligent management of Earth's resources in order to achieve a high standard of living for the entire global population. Anything less will simply result in a continuation of the same problems we have today. This also incorporates a systems approach to architecture, which is in harmony with nature. All cities will be designed to operate with a minimum expenditure of energy 
using the cleanest technology available. We are now organizing to initiate the very first city under our recently formed 501c3 organization called Resource-Based Economy. We welcome your inquiry and participation to help build this new innovative city. Now we operate under the name The Venus Project out of Venus, Florida. We invite you to learn more about this positive alternative at thevenusproject.com. Thank you for this opportunity. Again, thank you very much for this award. On behalf of Jack Fresco and the Vetus Project, we thank you very much. That was really inspiring. It's amazing actually what's going on there.